All right, this time we're taking a look at another mod. This is the Toy Box Collection, made by the same author as the other collections we've reviewed. Finishing the set, I promise. I think there's one more, maybe two, and then we'll be done. So let's get into it. All right, the first item we're going to be looking over is Blank. Blank is pretty cool, and why is it pretty cool? Because it's a reference to Enter the Gungeon, and I love Enter the Gungeon. Basically, it gives you a soul heart, and when you take damage, it clears... I'm going to hold on. Can you shoot, buddy? I need to show this. Oh, when you take damage, it clears the bullets on screen as well as slows everything in the room. And is it overpowered? I don't think it's like the strongest thing in the world, but I think it could be pretty good. I'll showcase it against a bit of a bullet hell boss. All right, so here we go, Mega Satan. Notorious for shooting a lot of bullets and trying to hurt people. So let's just get some of the bolts on screen to show you that it can get rid of a lot of bullets. So here's a pretty easy pattern, but let's say, oh no, it's getting dangerous. You get hit, you're going to clear the bullets. You get hit again, you clear the bullets. The one downside, as you saw, is if bullets split in other bullets, it'll only delete the originals. So with these bullets, it'll be much easier because, as you see, it just straight up deletes them. This could be really strong for late game fights, and overall, I think it's a pretty solid upgrade. All right, next up, we got Witch Wand. Witch Wand gives you one black heart and can spot a friendly enemy upon taking damage. On top of that, it weakens Gehenna and Mausoleum bosses, and you're resistant to fear. A lot of small upgrades built into one with this, and I kind of do like it. It's not going to be super strong. Right, let's just take some damage right now. Come on, buddy, shoot me. Uh, I didn't get my friend. I would like my friend. Thank you for the crawl space. See, that's the kind of thing you'll never see on a regular run. There we go. We take some damage. We got a friend. Now he's going to go over there and murder that man. Pretty nice. Uh, I'll go to the mausoleum to show off how weak the bosses are. Okay, so here we are against the heretic. I'm going to turn off debug four because that's high damage. And we don't want that. Ignore all the error messages in my console. Uh, I don't too much care about them. I've started installing too many mods and we just look past it. So as you see, though, look at that health bar. That is like most of the guy's health. It's obviously okay. It's not too overpowered because it's only in the uh, Gehenna and Mausoleum. But that's a really good start. You're basically getting half the boss fight for free, which is nice. All right, next we got Ancestral Assistance. This item will allow you to sometimes shoot an arrow of piercing tears and grant a one that use Holy Mantle. So it activates Holy Card as well as lets you shoot some special piercing tears. I'm trying to, like, show it off, but... Hopefully it'll happen within the next year or so. I do got plans. Not tonight and uh, not tomorrow and not really next week. But I'm sure I have plans eventually. I'll just keep firing it until it procs. Okay, and as I say that, it procs. So as you can see, it is a lot of small piercing tears. There it is again. And let's take a look to see if it stacks with luck. All right, got a pretty good luck upgrade being perfection. And just off initial assumptions, I'm going to say it doesn't stack with luck. So it seems like just an okay addition. I mean, the Arrow of Tears, it doesn't happen too often, and the Holy Mantle is one like one use. But the bullets pierce, and their free damage just added on top of your tier. So yeah, I definitely like it. All right, next we got Old Relic. Old Relic will basically fill in gaps, damage enemies, and just from walking. You see, you walk... There are stomps, stomps fill in gaps, and I'll spawn a Gigabomb to show that, because that definitely makes some gaps. All right, here we got a Gigabomb. It's going to go off. It's going to explode. There we go, and we still got hit. As you can see, it's kind of like pseudo flight, but worse. Um, it's not bad. It is a quality one. It's not supposed to be overpowered. All right, so we found ourselves a group of enemies that look like they want to die. So if you run around them, the stomping will kill them. I mean, it's not the most disgusting damage in the world but it's damage and it's just a bonus on top of what you already have overall pretty okay item not the item you're gonna like lose your shit over in the middle of a run but it's definitely worth a take all right next up we got the jar of air the jar of air will give you a health up a rotten heart three poison locusts poison resistance and some enemies are poisoned when appearing so i already have the poison locust because i already picked up this item once because i'm kind of dumb but now we have six because yeah of course as you see we got the health up we got the rotten heart and I mean, it's pretty all right. The enemies being poisoned upon entering your room is pretty self-explanatory. We'll try the poison locust against a boss. Obviously, you knew it was going to be a baby plum. Uh, the locusts are good. I like locusts. Three locusts on a character that isn't Tanny to Polyon, I'm more than down for. The locusts aren't overpowered, but I mean, all we have is this jar and you saw what we did to that baby. So I'd say it's pretty good. All right, next we got Concussion. This is an active item that pushes, confuses, and damages enemies. It'll be a pocket active if it can be. As you see, we have it here, and we'll try it against some enemies. We got some Gapers, so now let's try it. <laughs> okay, I had not seen the visuals for that yet. That is so freaking cool. I don't think it's made for hordes of enemies, but... Oh, hold on, give me 9-volt. Okay, we're going to see if it can charge faster. 
It definitely can. You give me just this and I want to make a run out of it. We're going to test it against a boss. All right, baby plum. Okay, so the damage isn't absurd. However, it is so freaking cool and it just <laughs> makes baby plum fly. Ready, ready, swing. That was... Okay, I was going to say, that was so disappointing. All right, uh, it's probably the coolest item in the entire game, and you can never take that away from me. All right, next up is Wow Factor. Sometimes shoot a stream of bloating poison tears. Uh, let's test this out. I'm pretty sure... Okay, this is, like, such a cool mod. I, I just got to throw that out there. So if we just shoot this way for a little bit, you'll see exactly what it means. All right, there we are, finally. Here is the effect... Uh, I'll be honest, for how low of a chance it is, that seems a little underwhelming. I don't know if it's because our range is super low, but in general, the, just with the tears, yeah, it's like, it's fine. I mean, it's not a bad item, and in practice, it'll probably be okay. It's like having anti-grab, but it's grab that you can't shoot, so like, it's good for if things are chasing you. You can kind of lead them in creep and into the tears, so it's not bad, but... I do wish it worked more like anti-grab that you could let go and just shoot the tears. But overall, I think it's a pretty neat concept. And I, I think the proc rate might deserve to be a little higher. But other than that, it's a pretty cool item. All right, next up, we got Blood of the Abyss, one of the strongest items in this mod. It will ignore three hits every floor and replace all heart containers with soul hearts. Now, first of all, music, sound, everything about this mod is great. Now, this isn't the most broken thing in the world because you know Holy Mantle exists. But the upside to this in comparison to Holy Mantle is it's three hits in any room. So if I walk in here and I'm like, oh, no, such a hard room. Please don't kill everything. Oh, no, such a hard room. What do I do? That's one hit and he's dead, too. That's two hits. That's three hits. Just like that. Now we're down to not having a shield. However, three hits for a floor is really good. And especially someone like the Lost, that could save your life. I see this being a really exciting find every time you get it. All right, next up, we got Sigil of Knowledge. Actually, one of the stronger items in this mod, even though it's a quality one. Uh, it'll reveal the entire map, including Ultra Secret Room, as you see there. The second you explore enough rooms. Uh, as you see, we've explored the full floor, so this isn't really a great example. But we will go to a different floor to show off what it would actually look like and how long it would take. All right, so we're just going to kind of start walking so you can see exactly when it triggers. We've cleared only a couple rooms, and I know what you're thinking. Oh, crying! how did you get to become such a god gamer? Didn't notice there was a button. How did you get to become such a god gamer, uh, killing all the enemies in the room without even seeing them? Yeah, it's just a, it's an hours thing. You put in the hours, you get that good. We're going to keep walking around until uh, Sigil of Knowledge fully procs. All right, and here it is fully proc. Did we have, we had Curse of the Blind and it's gone? Does this get rid of freaking curses or just Curse of the Blind? Effect. After exploring 55% of the rooms, the map will reveal... I mean, listen, it also got rid of how dark it was, and I'm cool with that. As you can see, we can see the full map, including all three secret rooms, and that is... That's really strong. All three secret rooms is a really good item. Even if you can't use this to find the boss, because, you know, 55% of the floor, having the access to every secret room in the game, every floor, for what is essentially free, is really good. And as you can see, it literally gives us access. Golden battery, that's hilarious. Um, I'm at least I'm pretty sure this is this item. I have no other items. I didn't take a pill. Uh, it says nothing about this in the effects. However, maybe in trivia. This item seems to reference the game Dead Cells. Nope. It's so I'm gonna assume it's this item. It doesn't say anything about it in either the uh, encyclopedia or the item description mod. But you're seeing it here first. Then we get access to the secret rooms. Obviously not the red one, but still a really really great item. All right, and that's going to be it. That is all the items in this mod. This one is... I don't know if this one was made more recent. I don't think it was. Maybe it was just updated recently. It was updated a week ago. But all these collection mods we've been looking at have been fantastic. But this one just really stands out to me. I, I love the sound effects. I love the art style and everything. I love all the items in it. It's it's really cool. It's just a really great mod altogether. Just, I, I'm a huge fan, so please keep up the good work. But anyway, I really enjoyed the mod. I really love showing it off and recording it for the video. And if you enjoyed, leave a like, comment, subscribe, do whatever you please, and I will see you next time.